This example says that uh, in the circuit shown in figure, we are required to find the equivalent resistance across the battery when switch is closed. We need to assume that the diode connected here is ideal. Now, just to find out the equivalent resistance, we first need to check whether on closing the switch, the diode will be forward biased or reverse biased. If it is forward biased, then we replace it with a straight wire. And if it is reverse bias, in that case, we treat it like an open circuit, and correspondingly, we can find out the equivalent resistance across the circuit. Now, let us consider that the switch is closed and the diode is removed, and we find out the potential difference across these two terminals A and B. Now, if we just calculate uh, the resistance of the system, and if diode is removed, you can see that uh, the resistance on the upper branch will be 15 ohms. And resistance in the lower branch will also be 15 ohm. So the potential difference across these two branches is 30 volts. So we can write current in each branch after removal of diode is this current can be given as. 30 by 15, which is 2 ampere. Now, in this situation, we can easily calculate the potential difference across A and B by writing Kirchhoff's voltage law from one point to another. Because in this situation, the current is flowing from left to right. So, here we can write, we write KVL equation is equal to 15 so we can write at point A if potential is V A, then at this point potential can be written as plus two into five because current is two ampere and the resistance is five ohm, and from this point to this point we can write minus two into ten, then it will be equal to the potential at point B. So here we can see V A minus V B we are going to get is this twenty minus ten. This will be ten volt. And this implies V A is more than V B. And here you can see if V A is more than V B, we can say that the diode will be forward biased because this P side of the junction and this N side of the junction. And if on P side the potential is higher than that on the N side in an ideal diode, it can be considered as forward bias. So here we can write here diode. Is forward bias and the equivalent circuit will be here. The equivalent circuit we can draw like this, in which we replace the diode with a straight wire because it is acting like a forward bias, and across this a 30 volt battery is connected, and the resistances are 5 ohm, 10 ohm, 10 ohm, and 5 ohm. So in this situation, we can see this five and ten ohm are connected in parallel, and here also ten and five are connected in parallel. So combination of ten and five in parallel can be written as fifty by fifteen ohms. So equivalent resistance across the battery can be written as five into ten by five plus ten in series with another combination of ten and five ohm. In parallel, so this will be given as again 5 into 10 by 5 plus 10. So here it can be written as 50 by 15 plus 50 by 15 is 100 by 15. Simplifying, we can write it to be equals to 20 by 3 ohm, that will be the answer to this problem.